It has been way too long, and I think it's time that we actually build Fremenay here because he has been sitting at level 50 basically since we got him and I haven't touched him. And, you know, he's like the only character that we really haven't got built. Even the Traveler, who is Animo for some reason, you should be Hydro. They're, the, you know, even they're like 70. Everyone else is, actually everyone else is 80. So we just kind of have Fremenay here who's been forgotten about. So we're going to go build Fremenay today. To do that, we're obviously going to need to level him up. I'm going to just try to get him to at least like 60 or 70 or so. But we're going to have a problem with these, these Roman time flowers. I haven't farmed any of them. And, well, you know, we don't have a whole lot. Plus, these might also be a problem. Our limit for building Fremenay today is going to be Roman time flowers. Yeah, we can only craft four of them. So before we get into farming the stuff for him, I'm going to look at weapons and stuff. I think weapon wise, his best in slot weapon is, un uh, four star wise, is unfortunately this one down here, this craftable one, which means we need to, not that, we need to buy the thing for it. Tidal Shadow, this is it. Because this gives him attack and just more general attack, and that's what we want. But that means we are going to need a lot more of these things, the condensed crystals. So I will have to go and farm them. So that's what I'll do now. I'm going to go farm all of the condensed crystals I can. I'll go farm all of the these things, and obviously all of the Roman time flowers. And I'll see how much we can get. And that is going to determine how far we can get from now. Okay, and with that, that was about an hour of farming or so. We have now got all of the things that we need. So let's go to this weapon first. That was actually the easiest to farm for. I thought it would be kind of difficult, but if you pull up the interactive map, which I didn't do last time, but if you pull up the interactive map, it uh, doesn't take long. There's a lot of those condensed crystal things in the world. Trial Shadow, yes, that's a Claymore buy that and then i think i made sure we had exactly enough we have enough of these we don't have a claymore billet though you can indeed craft them but to craft them you need one of these which we don't have we don't have either of them because i haven't farmed any weekly bosses i don't think so i will go farm a pet I'm not going to do it on a very high difficulty, but I will give it a shot. We're going to do it on level 80, because that should still give us, or should we do it 90? Eh, screw it, we'll do it level 90. And boom, just like that, we are done. It was moderately difficult. Please, we didn't get a single billet out of that. I did just remember, now that I've already done a run of... Andreas trying to get the other one because I figured I might as well try that, but didn't work. Uh, you can buy them. Okay, not here. It must be leeway then. I don't know. I know there's somewhere where you can buy the billards. There we go. You want Claymore, please and thank you. Awesome. Okay, now we can grab this one. Boom. And then go craft up this sword. Not sword, Claymore. Now, there probably was someone that we could have bought this one specifically. I'm not 100% sure. But, uh, yeah, oh well. Doesn't really matter now. Already happened. Now, we can craft that, though. And with that, boom, grab the Tidal Shadow. Let's start working on Fremenay now. So, we can switch him over to the Tidal Shadow. Don't know how far we're going to be able to get this up. Uh, not very far, it seems. That's, yep, cool. Okay, well, let's work on Fremenay now. So, we can go up to 60. Boom, level 60. Can we go 70? We need two more of these. We can go 70. There we go. Boom, now we're up to 70. Now, 80 is going to be a small problem because we are just a couple short of these first things first let's go see if we can get the other things we need so we need five more of the purple chunks and we need another eight of the other higher grade thingies i don't know what they're called now we are only missing these i'll only get them to 80 today because that's you know where everyone else is so that makes the most sense 
Although that'll be if I can get a couple more of these, which I probably could because I just log on to my phone. I'll need to update Genshin on my phone. That's going to take 500 hours. Uh, and then I can just farm these. So that's not really too much of a problem. For now though, I will put that, I'll start updating that while I work on the artifacts and weapon, which I don't think I could do when it's just open. Because of time zones, this isn't very easy for me. I've got to try to figure out what things are open when. Okay, so for me, it is Friday, but game time, it is Thursday, which means I am one day ahead. So for Fremine, these are open on, not not that, his, oh my god, press buttons please properly. His weapon, these are open on Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday, which would mean that is Thursday, so yesterday, Sunday, and Monday. So I won't be able to farm any of these. And I don't think I can get them from anywhere else, so we're just going to have to leave that at 20, I guess, unless I could use something else for the time being. So, let's go look at artifacts. What I will probably run is Golden Troop, because elemental skill damage, we can't get the full four-piece buff, but we get most of it. And I actually have pieces for that, so that's what we're going to run. Okay, these are the pieces we're running. Most, uh, I haven't actually leveled them up, but, you know, they are looking pretty nice. That is a four-line four start, double crit. We have Attack Sands running on piece Cryo Goblet. And then I have a off piece circle here running crit rate. Because a lot of these pieces that has crit rate. I'll just sort of see how it rolls. But a lot of them I'm assuming is going to roll more into crit damage. Just because that tends to be what happens with me. But we shall see. So let's level these all up. Hopefully we just hit the crits. Because that's mainly what we want. Crit damage. There we go. Awesome. We do want a little bit of ER, but not huge amounts as long as I run Favonius on someone in the team, which I might be, I can't remember. Even if we're not, more crit damage, hell yeah. We only need around like 130 to 150, I think, and I feel like that should be pretty well achievable. As long as I got a couple energy recharge stats on here, I don't need to roll into it, but just a couple stats here, which I do, which is good. We do roll energy recharge now that I mentioned that, but that's that's fine. On to the next piece. We are hoping for just the crit rolls here. That's not crit. That, however, is crit. Lovely. And we get more crit rate. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I'd like a crit damage roll though, please. Just a nice, nice, nice crit damage. More more crit rate. Okay. Crit crit damage. More AM. Okay. Could have rolled a little bit better, but it's not the worst. Now, this one does need to roll, hopefully, decently. Not great. But as long as we get specifically crit damage rolls, thank you, then we sh it should be okay. We are running crit rate circlet, so more crit damage. Yeah, I'll take that. That is good. Even more crit damage. Okay. I'm liking where this is going. Can we get 30 crit damage, though? Is that, is that even possible? I think it's, it looks possible. Can we hit crit damage again? We don't. Okay. Now this one I'd like to... Hopefully, can we roll crit damage? No. Okay. Well, crit rate then. Not EM. Crit crit rate. Not not EM. Crit rate. Okay, great. This is, looking, this is a beautiful looking piece. Thank you. Crit rate. Okay, good. Now everything is level 12. 20 we are now sitting at 800 attack that'll obviously go up with the weapon levels but in terms of crit we are at 61 16 could be a little bit better but i mean it's not the worst we could swap over to lynette's piece which would give us a whole lot more crit damage now we're at 61 25 which is definitely better okay let's have a look at talents now we are going for sort of everything where i think we're most likely going to sit more in the cryo damage so we will do burst and skill i think because skill does the cryo damage and stuff i think that's what we want to do i'm just going to try to get everything to like six if we can because that's what i do with everyone else and six is our max just because we don't have weekly bosses so now that means we can max out Fremenay's talents for now. 
all sixes across the board there for his talents. He is running C1, which is pretty good. That just increases the crit rate of his this skill. So now we're just going to finish him off by waiting for my phone to update and then getting these Roman time flowers. Let's see. Boom. 4k. Okay, not bad. Use his burst. Yeah, 4k. Could definitely be better. But that is with only like 800 attack. So I reckon once we get that weapon up, we will definitely be looking at some good numbers. But I mean, still, 4k is only just a little bit less than Clorand is doing. So it's still pretty good. I will be back once I, my phone's finished updating. Okay, so for some reason, DaVinci Resolve just died. Don't know why, but it did. Didn't like that last recording, which is a small shame because I actually did stuff there. But uh, anyway, we managed to get Fremene up to level 80. I went into my world on my phone, got him up to level 80, all sweet. But I also decided that I am going to wait until tomorrow night, I'm pretty sure, which is when this will be open and even though i have to edit and post that video the same night i am going to be waiting till then and doing those couple runs then which means that i can hopefully get that weapon up and get some good damage out of him because that's i think our best plan of action this is going to be a little bit stressful because i don't have a whole day to edit i'm off doing a mountain bike race which means that i'm not going to be back till like 7 30 but yeah that's what it is it'll work we'll farm get him doing big damage and then I'll rush to get the video edited and posted but yeah that it'll work so uh that's basically what that 20 minute recording that OBS just killed that's what we did summed up I don't know why OBS decided but it just decided nah don't like that video gonna corrupt it or something I don't know it died so before OBS goes and dies again I will see you all tomorrow night where I can get this finished off and get from doing big damage okay so it is now the next day or technically in the in-game time it is two days later and finally, we now have Fremenet's weapon thing is open. Which means we can go farm a bunch of them and hopefully get his weapon up a little bit. Okay, there we go. All of... Oh, we got a gold. Hell yeah. All of those runs are done. Which means now we can get Fremenet's weapon leveled up a little bit. Let's see how far we can go. There is level 40. We can ascend up again. So there is level 50. And we are one short of these. There we go. Now we can go to 60. Can we go 70? Maybe. Yes, we can get it up to 70 now. And boom. Level 70. We will not be able to go any further because we are out of just about everything. But that is fine. We are now sitting at much nicer attack. 1500. We have 60, 125, 116 ER all that stuff. I am going to swap Lynette onto Favonius. Okay, boom, there we go. I'll just go to run out of re resources, might as well. And that, I'm pretty sure, is going to be at level 70. It indeed is. Okay, awesome. Well, level 70 works. That gives Lynette 180 ER, which is good. She doesn't really need damage, but mainly just gives us crit hits and elemental particles and all that stuff so we can get burst up a little bit quicker. So, now that we have some more damage stuff on people, let's go see what Fremenet is doing now. We're doing 5k, I think, from memory. It was around what we were doing last time. So now I'm hoping for, like, I don't know, 10 to 15. Okay, let's see. We had a 4k and a 9k. Okay. Now, burst. Does a 11k. Okay, not the worst, I'd say. I mean, obviously could be quite a bit better. Which, I mean, we could probably increase a little bit if we could get some better stats in him. More specifically, crit damage. We are losing out a little bit of crit rate. But I think that's probably fine. To be honest, drops down to 48, 144. It's not incredible. But, I mean, comparing it to Nouvellet, 43, 247. Yeah, pretty low crit rate. But I will take that for a little bit more damage. Now let's run it and see what we're doing damage-wise. Get that Hydro applied. Burst. That hit 12k. 4k. And that was a non-crit. 10k. There we go. 
3k. 9k. Yeah, there we go. That's what we like to see. Not the most insane damage, but he is still doing damage. And, I mean, he's doing not as regularly, but he is hitting, you know, similar damage to Nouvellet. From an A sort of hits around that 10k now, which is pretty good. I will take that. He is now, I'd say, probably better than Linny in terms of DPSs for this account because Linny's pretty good, but I didn't, I haven't put a whole lot of work into him recently. So he's uh, not incredible at the moment. From an A, on the other hand, actually does do some really, really nice damage and it hits that good, you know, 12k or so, 12, 13k on his initial burst hit and then will hit around 9 or 10k on his skills. Which I'd say is pretty good. I could mess around physical, but I'm not going to mess around physical because I don't have the time to mess around physical. Plus, we don't have the artifacts or anything else for that anyway. So with that being said, I think that's a good point to leave it off. We are doing big damage or big-ish damage for this account. It's sort of average damage. But that's fine. We Fremene is actually built. He is Now we have everyone on the account except for the Traveler up to 80. We definitely could get the travel up to 80, but I'd need more of these. And also, again, why are you Animo? Everyone else is up to 80, so it's pretty good. Could be a touch better, but, you know, we'll, we'll take it. We do need more damage to this account, and hopefully Emily should bring that. But we only have five pools, which is uh, not enough. So I will keep farming for her, and we hopefully should get her. We just need, like, 20 more pools when guaranteed. So that's lovely. So, I think with that being said, I'm going to leave it off here. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this sort of content, do consider subscribing. And, uh, yeah. This just spawned out of nowhere. And, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. And good. Bye. Frost.